name is Tammy Painter. I am 38 years old. I'm a contract administrator for a local engineering firm. My name is Armella Bishop, 31, and um, in, in the nursing career field. Started in SFT in December of 2009. Juana Staley, 52. I am under payment recovery specialist, medical insurance. I came to SFT with my daughter as support to her. My name is Sarah McMahon, and when I was 12 years old, I first started SFT training. Now I'm 16, and I'm proud to say it's made a huge impact on my life at such a young age. My name is Angela Ford. I'm a grandma, and uh, let's see, I'm a school bus driver and a photographer. I, I went to the program, let's see, the end of 2008, beginning of 2009. My name's Scott Edwards, and I'm uh, 49 years old, and I'm an avionics technician. I work on aircraft. Um, I learned about SFT on one of the commercials that was uh, running on Channel 3, actually. In, uh, on Comcast in Rutherford County in uh, 2006. SFT has impacted my life in my life. Just dealing with myself, dealing with my children, dealing with people around me, dealing with my church, my faith, um, my family. So SFT, it, like I said, it's just impacted my life in all ways. It's a great tool. Like I said, I came to support to Armella, and once I got here, I realized, wow, there is room for improvement in every aspect, from your personal life to your professional life to your Christian life, just realizing there, there is a lot that can be worked on. How about what areas it hasn't it affected? It's affected almost every area of my life. I used to get aggravated all the time, all day long. I mean, always something aggravating me, even something as little as telling my daughter not to leave her clothes in the dryer. You know, that's aggravating. If you tell somebody something and they don't do it, well, when you sit down and you learn how to pain, process pain events, which is anything that you don't like, then you, can, you learn how to process pain events and you just work it out and then you're not angry anymore. It's very nice. Uh, SFT makes you more efficient in, at work as far as communication goes, I believe, is a key there. Uh, great communication skills. You learn how to listen. Listen is a, that's a key skill. You do most of your time listening, and um, that just makes everything better if you're actually listening instead of talking. SFT has helped my relationship with God because it's really brought me closer to Him and understand what my role on earth is supposed to be. I think it's impacted my relationship with God just in understanding the characteristics of his, his person and how we need to apply some of those things in our person so that we can see clearly why we should be or why we should say or how to react you know just in dealing with everyday people and opening up and being more objective to how God thinks and sees us. <laughs> The training that I receive from SFT, the trainers are awesome and you know somebody might think that as soon as they go to an SFT class that they might have to like spill their guts and tell everything about their life, but it's not that way. The training in SFT is presented in a way that, um, ironically, it's very Christ-like. It's, um, it, he, you know, it, it meets your needs without beating you up first. It looks at you in the human condition, takes you as you are and works from there. I do still process emotional pain, not always on paper like I want to, but I always keep it on my mind like when a pain event occurs, I'll, I stop and think, you know, should I, what should I do, should I do this, and I also think about how, what the other person may be going through that day, and that, you know, they may not always mean what they say to you, and they say something hurtful to you. Most difficult pain events, you uh, you definitely have in your mind the pre-processing, the um, always looking for events, and uh, if you pre-process, it makes it a lot easier. The lower stuff, um, you know, a lot of times I can process now, and I don't even realize I do it. I'm doing it subconsciously, um, but there are times where top shelf stuff that's very core, uh, you know, endeavor issues for me that still require paper. And the good thing is, I know they're on that piece of paper. And when I'm ready, I can walk to that piece of paper, pick it up, and deal with it. Um, you know, 
never had that before. And I'm very grateful for it. Would I recommend SFT to others? Well, yes, I would. Definitely, absolutely, yes. Because if you'd, if you'd rather be happy and peaceful instead of, you know, depressed and angry, yes. Just for them to take a personal inventory of themselves. I think a lot of people, like myself, when I came, I'm here for her. And I realized I needed it for me. I would definitely, if they could put it into the womb, <laughs> say start from there. Now I can say, <laughs> the worst day be worst. I know I'm still going to heaven. So how can I not smile today? Because my worst day is someone else's best day. What would I say to someone that was considering going through SFT training? I would say, just do it. You know what? You're worth it. You need to take care of yourself. Nobody can take care of you but you. Are you waiting for an invitation? Okay, here's your invitation. You are invited to go through SFT training and take care of yourself. You don't have anything to lose. You need to do it and take care of yourself. It's for your life, period. Call me when you're done. As fast as you can get an appointment, make one. If you need someone to drive you, give me a call. Ha, 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 ha.